please welcome our contestants. Player Ooh. one. <laughs> Key. Player two. <laughs> Player three. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Their first number one pop hit. Ancient History, 2006. Ballet. Odd Words. Trading Places. And Fish Fry. All right, let's get back into this. Player one has control of the board. Every Breath You Take, 1983. Let's hear it, player one. Right. <laughs> you get to pick again. Sunshine on My Shoulders, 1974. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. <laughs> Player one? Yeah! Answer. It's the Daily Double. You are in first place. What are you going to wait for? Here is your clue. Sunshine Superman, 1966. Congratulations, you're still in first, Player one. Player one, you pick again. Ms. Jackson, 2001. Okay, player one. That's correct. Please pick again. Owner of a Lonely Heart, 1984. Player one. You are correct. Please pick again, player one. In February, he shot Harry Whittington, not his intended target. Yes, player two. Hey, you're right. <laughs> player two. Discovery and this legendary space shuttle went aloft. Player one. Good. <laughs> Player one. In November, an Andy Warhol work depicting this Asian leader sold for more than $17 million. Let's hear it, Player one. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> you again, Player one. This famous American passed away the day after Christmas at the age of 93. Yes, player two. Aww. That is correct. <laughs> player two. He led the French team to the finals of Soccer's World Cup, only to be ejected after headbutting an Italian player. Okay, player one. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> player one. Where do we start? Cadets attend a dance at a girls' school in Graduation Ball, a ballet set in this capital of Austria. Let's hear it, Player 3. Good. <laughs> player 3. I may say nay if you do a pas de cheval, a ballet step that imitates this animal. Let's hear it, Player 1. Good. Where do we begin? He designed sets and costumes for Where the Wild Things Are, a ballet based on his own beloved book. Okay, player one. Yeah! Right you are. Player one, pick again. The 2000 ballet Todo Buenos Aires features different interpretations of this sensual ballroom dance. Let's hear it, player three. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's it. All right, let's get back. Here's Jimmy with the clue. It's the double tuck name for this standard ballet skirt. Okay, player two. Ooh. That's it. <laughs> player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. Dumbledore is actually an old word for this insect. J.K. Rowling imagined him humming all the time. Okay, player one. Yep. <laughs> a lot of clues. The name of this light, crinkled fabric comes from the Persian shur or shakar, meaning milk and sugar. Player two. That's ah. correct. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of... The fact that clavate means shaped like this isn't something you have to hit me over the head with. It's player two. Correct. <laughs> we return to you, player two. Too much time enjoying potent potables? You could end up with a Katzenjammer, one of these. Okay, player one. A lot of clues, a lot of... Robinsonade is not a refreshing drink. It's a novel similar in theme to a work by this author. Okay, player three. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> yeah! Woo! Player three, where do we start? Jimmy? Near two major rivers, this Missouri city was founded as a fur trading post by Pierre Leclerc in 1763. Okay, player two. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> player two, you're in command. Frankfurt's Rossmarkt was a site for this type of animal trading, also a term for hard bargaining. Let's hear it, player three. That's it. <laughs> Player three, you start. Located on this continent, the Kanembornu Empire lasted a thousand years by being a center of trade. Okay, Player three. <laughs> right. We return to you, Player 3. This city's Grand Bazaar was built in 1461 by Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror. Yes, Player 2. That is correct. <laughs> player 2, you start us off. From its founding in 1898 until 1919, this exchange was known as the Chicago Butter and Egg Board. Okay, player one. Right. <laughs> Where do we begin, player one? Fry, meaning young, is often applied to this fish, like the sockeye that returns to spawn where it hatched. It's player two. Correct. <laughs> Player two. Males guard the fry of the smallmouth type of this, a sport fishing favorite. Let's hear it, player three. Yeah! That's right, way to go. <laughs> player three, you start. The tiger type of this fish can be a foot and a half long at birth with dark spots and stripes that fade as it ages. It's player three. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you get to pick again. Baby catfish are called sack fry and subsist for five days on this, even after they hatch from the egg. Let's hear it, player two. Ah. You got it. 
And here's the $1,000 clue. Geographic name for the spotted green type of pike whose young eat insects before graduating to other fish. Yes, player two. <laughs> Player three, you're going first in the double jeopardy round when we return. Categories for the double jeopardy round are graphic novels on film, familiar phrases, music class. Anatomy and Medicine, U.S. City History, and African Countries. Let's get back into this now. You have control of the board. History diverges from this film, as the Spartans also had over a thousand men from other Greek cities fighting at Thermopylae. Let's hear it, Player One. <laughs> Player one, Johnny Depp is in England on the trail of this serial killer in the Alan Moore-inspired film, From Hell. Let's hear it, Player Two. Right. <laughs> okay, let's get back in. Tom Hanks takes his son on a violent mission of retribution against a gangster boss in this film. Okay, player two. Yep. <laughs> player two. Sadly, 1994's The Crow about a man who comes back from the dead was the last for this star. It's player one. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> Player one, you start. Thora Birch and Scarlett Johansson are friends who move in together after high school in this spooky film. It's player one. Yep. <laughs> player one, back to you for our... Financially, it's the colorful opposite of in the red. Player three. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Player three, a celebrity charity that auctions off designer outfits to benefit kids is called These Off Our Back. Let's hear it, Player Two. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Player Two, where do we start? Poet, who gave us You're a Better Man Than I Am, Gunga Din. Player two. Ah. That's correct. <laughs> Please pick again. Slaves once dreaded being sent to the harsh plantations of the lower Mississippi, hence to sell someone here. Yes, player three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player three, you start. Originating in 1844's Settlers in Canada, this phrase about rowing a boat means to decide your own fate. Player one. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Player one, you start us off. On sheet music, this sign identifies the second line of the staff as the G above middle C. Yes, player two. Ooh. Right. <laughs> player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. The name of this section of an orchestra comes from the Latin for a beating. It's player one. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> 
Player one, where do we start? Here's Jimmy. The guitarist here is playing one of these, defined as a combination of three or more notes. It's player one. Good. Yeah! You again, player one. You may have studied these Chopin pieces whose name is French for studies. Yes, player two. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories. Rachmaninoff wrote one on a theme of Paganini. Gershwin wrote one in blue. Yes, player three. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make a selection. It's a network of nerves, like the solar one. Okay, player one. Yes. <laughs> Where do we begin, player one? Nephrology is a medical specialty concerned with these organs. Yes, player three. Good for you. <laughs> player three, where do we start? It's also called the auditory tube, and when it's blocked, an earache can result. Player three. That is correct. <laughs> Select again. From the Greek for bad mold, it's an abnormal growth of tissue or bone. Dogs get it in their hips. Yes, player one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, let's get back into this. These five bones make up the palm of the hand. Let's hear it, player one. Good. <laughs> player one, back to you for our next selection. This Missouri city wasn't named for Scott or Janice, but for the Reverend Harris G., an early settler there. Okay, player one. Good for you. <laughs> Player one, you pick again, please. Two months before the Declaration of Independence, the Rhode Island Independence Act was signed in this city. Okay, player two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> player two, you start us off. Answer. <laughs> the first of the Daily Doubles. You are currently in second place. Decide on your wager, player two. Answer. It was Arizona's territorial capital from 1867 to 1877, and a university was founded there in 1885. That is correct. <laughs> Player two. You Indianapolis was laid out in a wheel pattern inspired by this other major city some 500 miles away. Player one. <laughs> correct. <laughs> Player one. You're in command of the... Here's Jimmy. It was uninhabited when it was chosen as a territorial capital in 1836 and named for a president who died that year. Okay, player three. <laughs> hey, you're right. <laughs> a lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make a selection. In 2009, Jacob Zuma became this country's democratically elected president. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Correct. A lot of clues, a lot. Of the FLN has dominated the political scene in this country 
since it won independence from France in 1962. Yes, player one? Yes. <laughs> we return to you, player one. Hands <laughs> The other daily double. You are in first place. How much are you going to wager, player one? Here is your clue. Bioko, an island of this equatorial African republic, was once known as Fernando Pu. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Player one, back to you. The capital city of this Horn of Africa nation has the same name as the country. Player one. Right. And the $2,000 clue? Festus Moge is the president of this landlocked African republic once known as Bechuanaland. Okay, player three? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I'll see you all for Final Jeopardy in just a moment. We're back. The category for Final Jeopardy today is the 1970s. So, what's your wager? Now it's time for the final Jeopardy clue, and here it is. For an historic February 1972 trip, Richard Nixon and Henry Kissinger each learned to use these. Nixon was better at it. What did you put as your response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? Did you come up with the correct response? How much do you add to your total with that correct response? What did you say? With that correct response, you will gain. Congratulations, <laughs> player one. You are our new champion. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time.